Hello, my name is Dr. Bobak Ibrahimi and I'm an entomologist. So do you know who an entomologist is? Yes. Huh? An entomologist is a scientist who studies insects. Exactly. And I've studied mosquitoes and how they smell things around themselves. So today we're going to start with the spider joke. What do spiders eat in Paris? French flies. French flies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're talking about the spiders. So let's learn about the spiders. There you can see these beautiful spiders here. So spiders belong to a group of animals called arthropods. Let's say it together. Arthropods. Arth Pods, arthropods. So arthropods are animals that have segmented body, exoskeleton, and parts that are attached to the body, such as legs, mouth parts, antenna, pedipalps, and you can see them here. See this is segmented body. You can see the pedipalps here. All right. So you can also find crabs, shrimps, butterflies, ticks spiders and centipedes in the group of arthropod. So unlike human birds and dogs, arthropods don't have bones. Huh? So instead they have this other part of their body that is hardened to protect their body like an armor. And this gives them the shape. So if you go back to the spider, this is a a spider body, which is made of two main parts. One is called cephalothorax, which is like a head and chest together. And the other one is abdomen. It's kind of their belly. Yeah, their body. Yeah. And they have eight legs. I know that. Four on each side. And they have two pedipalps. So sometimes pedipalps look like legs but they're much closer to the spider mouth yes. because their job is to smell and taste food. So scientists look at the eyes of spiders to identify the species of their spiders. They, 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 they also, they, I think they also compare different spider eyes. Exactly. So you can find the spiders everywhere in the world except for Antarctica. Where it's very cold in my freeze. Exactly. They can freeze. They have various sizes. They can be as small as the tip of the pencil or as large as a medium-sized plate or a palm of your hand. So this is a spider life cycle. So a female spider lays very tiny eggs and then protect them in a web, a special web that, uh, that we call them egg sac. And the baby spiders are called hatchlings. Yes, I they mean, call them spiderlings. Yes, yes, they call them spiderlings. And then they, after a while, they hatch out, they come out of the eggs and they start growing, crawling away of like a balloon. They make this kind of string, strand of silk and the wind's going to carry them to other places. And, and then they start growing. Start grow eating, eating and then growing. So they hunt on the other small insects. And, and while they are growing, they turn into an adult. Exactly. Which and lays eggs and goes all over exactly, again. Exactly. Exactly. Now, spiders are predators, meaning that they uh, feed on various things, uh, mainly smaller arthropods and insects, even mosquitoes. Look at this one. This one is eating a mosquito. What? They occasionally they can eat on nectaries from plants to give them enough sugar, enough you know energy to move around to look for prey. All right. So nectar is their food. Yes, most of the spiders are not dangerous to human. 
Uh, black widow dough is one that uh, one of the very few spider that has bite that may need medical attention, but they don't bite unless they feel threatened. Okay, how do we identify a black widow? widow? So we look at this red markings under their abdomen. See, like this, this is, and there are also the look at their, the pattern of their eyes. Because this is the eyes, their head and eyes from the front. So some spiders pr produce uh, threads uh, from back of their abdomen to spin spider webs. And they use spiders webs for catching prey and for protecting their eggs and the egg sac. And here um, you can see different species of spiders making their own shape of spider web. Some of them are in the ground. Some of them may be use a very small ball to catch the prey. And some of them on branches of the trees or on um, uh, other things. So, and and some look like butterflies. Yeah, it may, some of them may look butterflies. Not all of the spiders spin webs. So this is like a, it's called jumping a spider that they chase their prey and they just run after them and they, they catch, catch them. And some of them hide under the rock and wait for the insects to, to pass by and catch them. Did you know that a scorpion is a kind of spider? It's not a spider. Oh, what? It's not an arthropod. Oh. Ah, I'll talk about it later. Okay, here's a, some patterns of sp uh, spider webs. And look at them, look at how beautiful they are. And they're various shapes. I have seen, the, I have seen, I have seen the circle ones. Yeah, like this. exactly. And now, so we are gonna have this game. So if you are a spider, what shape of the spider would you spin? How it's gonna look like? So you have a, this ring and you have some, some stuff to pass through the hole. So think about your use imaginations and think how you're gonna spin that spider rib and answer those questions. My tip. All right, great. It was great talking to you guys. I will catch up with you guys later. All right.